All right, folks, here it is for the end of the year. We are done with it. I'm not going to show you how I did it, a how-to. I will just give you a tour of it. All right. So this is the back side. So you see we walled... In. You saw that in the previous video where we did the frame for the top part. So I took some um, uh, cedar planks for fencing and did all around the side here. All the way around. All right, so that's the sides. What we did for the top was the same thing. We took, I took uh, cedar planks for a fence. See if we can get that on camera. And I ran those up top all the way. And I tried that out to see how that would do on its own. It did all right, it was better than nothing. I was still getting water on the inside. All right, so what I came back and did, let me see if I can get this on camera, is I came back, I had some conveyor belt that I took and layered on the top. And so far, so good as far as getting rain in. All right. All right, let's go on inside. Then I came back and added some more camouflage style paint. Took some leaves and such and sprayed multiple colors. It's going for a mid fall. Trying to get this color here kind of with some green kind of mixed in that's what we got going on there uh, while we're outside I went to the co-op and they've got burlap mossy oak burlap picked up uh, I think 10 foot of that um, I didn't want to wall this in yet do you like uh, window windows I still want to kind of leave it open where some air gets in. We may change our mind next year. It may get freezing cold. And I'm like, okay, it's time to put something more temporary. But this adds to the look. All right, let's roll inside. I've got me a bag here, a chair. I can get this 
nice comfy chair. I can fit two chairs in here if I ever wanted to come hunting with one of the kids. All right. All right, so it's not super spacious in here. I think it's close to a five by five. So I went ahead and I took some OSB board and walled that in the side here. I got two sides done. Built me a little shelf right here. Put my phone and a nice thermos on. I went ahead and added some extra camo burlap back here. It'll blend in the background if you're looking in through the front window. Might help deceive some of them smart deers. That's looking out the side. They come up that ridge sometimes. And right here is the front. Right over there by that tree is where I killed my first buck. This side over here, I'll probably... Road's over there somewhere, so I probably won't ever shoot that way. And then to the back, it's coming down the trail and my house is over there, so I'm not going to shoot that way either. Here's kind of a view of the top. So... Hope you all enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for the uh, deer stand this year. Maybe it forever. I don't know. I'll probably come back in and do these other two walls. Uh, got it set up for if I want to put a heater in here, I can. All that good jazz. The uh, I'm going to be let's see if I can get this on camera. I'm going to be using that using that this year the uh, old Mossberg 590 so I'm at a close enough range where a slug will do right so uh, also I've got these little mounts here one there and one there I'll probably put, move this one here over here I am going to try to film the hunt this year we'll see what happens see uh, how tired of a get of bring all the equipment out here so we'll see what happens hopefully hopefully it's a good year I've seen a couple good bucks already out here so see what happens thanks for watching final phase of the Leonard shack No, I'm going to put it on a tree. Okay. No, you can walk. Holy crap! You put it on the right like a flesh. It's really